Good morning, Senior Stoner fans. It's Thursday morning. This is a real Senior Stoner back at you for your card e rig dab of the day. Well, I don't even know where to begin. Maybe go to the end first. Did much too much. Didn't think. Just did it. Really caused catastrophic situations for myself, which could have been alleviated. This is a lesson of what not to do. Do not do what I've done. Even though the reasons were okay, don't do what I've done. Here's what happened. Went to see my son yesterday, which I love doing. I love him. But I had to get a suitcase out of the basement for him. He was going on vacation and put it into the car, a big one, 26-inch. And then go an hour each way to have lunch with him. Well, I also, stop it, sugar. I also watered the lawn yesterday in four different spots because we had some sod put in. And like an idiot, stop it, sugar. I felt that I could do the things that a normal person does. And I'm not talking about, I bought these light hoses, you know, the ones that expand. But even those, I, I almost fell over once. I had strained my arms two or three times doing it. I had to bend over multiple times. My knee really, really went because I had to get down and like squat a couple times and I didn't know what was gonna happen. So here's what happens. You're now Humpty Dumpty and everything's broken. Well, are the King Soldiers gonna put you back together again? I don't think so. Now I'm really screwed. Sugar, stop it. Now I'm really screwed. Now I'm in a situation where I can't do shit. Now I gotta think about can I go walk sugar today? I can't even open the hot tub lid. Here's what happens when you're like me and you do these things. It's like a ladder of wooden rungs. You put a bowling ball at the top and drop it. Each rung of the ladder is gonna go boom, 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 break right through. That's so what happens with me after my neck surgery that failed, after my spinal surgery that failed. It doesn't hold together well. It thinks I think it does, but it doesn't. I look okay, but I'm not. My ego gets in the way. And I want to be a man. And I want to be a dad. And I want to be a husband. And I want to be a homeowner. And all those things. And take care of my family and my possessions and all the things I have to do. Let's take a hit of Wonka Burry. So all those things are valid points. But I think what I did is I let my ego get in the way. I'm pretty sure that's what happened because otherwise I'm a smart man. I wouldn't have just blown through that stuff knowing my limitations. I think I did this for vanity. Vanity and ego. <coughs> Trying to be a normal person. Not a person with failed back surgeries. Not a person with bad knees. Not a person with bad feet. I hate it sometimes, quite frankly. I hate the limitations. I hate trying to find ways to fit myself, myself, into a little box like this because this is all that's left that I can do, okay? It sucks, but you gotta do it. So what happens is when you're thinking it's a nice day outside, your son wants to see you before he goes on vacation. Mrs. Stoner deserves everything. You actually walk, talk, and look like a normal person. So you say to yourself, so I'm a little out of shape. That's not the answer. What happens is the better weather made your eyes brighten up when you look up a little bit and say, ooh, the 300 milligram drink you were eating made you smile. The narcotics in your body from the morning took the edge off. So you, when you stumbled in to the situation, 
thought everything was cool. It wasn't. You were deceived. You were deceived. People, subscribers, people watching, anybody out there, don't do what I did. I was deceived. I deceived myself. Don't deceive yourself. Because the ramifications are horrible. Today, this weekend potentially, is going to be very difficult for me. All because I didn't hold the reins on the horse tight enough, if that makes any sense. Okay? And it's all bullshit. None of it should have happened yesterday. It wasn't worth it. None of it. Not one thing was worth it, unfortunately. Because the pain, the pain is just... It's unbearable, frankly. I didn't know if I was going to do the dab of the day today. So, I don't want to whine, but I want to set myself as an example. Don't do what I did. This is the Senior Stoner. Back at you with your car to e-rig dab of the day. Have a great day, everybody. Cheers.